Beavers, election management and black holes. On the 25th of February 2023, Nigeria held its seventh in the series of presidential elections since the advent of the Fourth Republic in 1999. Even before the Fourth Republic, elections in Nigeria have been a matter of great contention with allegations of rigging of results and other forms of electoral malpractice often leading to violence. In an attempt to curb this, INEC in 2015 first introduced the permanent card reader. It since replaced this with the ZPAD. Then the ZPAD linked with IREV portal. Then now Beavers, all of which it only experimented with, with in off cycle elections, the last of which was the election of Oshun State, which at the time of the February 25th election was still the subject of litigation. The presidential elections of February 25th also now is the subject of litigation upon which significant issues to be decided in the Oshun case will impact, such as what the status of Beavers machine is in the law of evidence. What is clear in all this is that Beavers technology, which was deployed to solve the problem of rigging, is creating new problems relating to the sanctity of information stored in a machine for the purposes of legal audit. This is aside the fact that nothing is known of whether or how INEC has been updating the software used in these machines in, to the level necessary to prevent hacking. Even INEC has confessed to having experienced glitches in the management of this system. We know, of course, that in order to avoid the black hole to which the use of technology can descend, many of the nations which pioneered its use for elections have moved away from it. But this is far from the only black hole that threatens election management in Nigeria today. We now know that out of the, a projected population of 200 million or more, only 9 million voted for the declared winner. We have about 93 million registered voters and about 87 million are reported to have collected their voters' card. Yet, only 24.9 million actually voted. It is a patently false argument to attribute this that makes us about the lowest ranking African nation in voter turnout, merely to crash, uh, cash crunch due to the disastrous implementation of the Naira redesign policy. Because year after year, Election after election, our voter turnout figures have gone down, as if our people have been disappearing in plain sight into black holes. Clearly, there is a cause for concern in all this. Deployment of technology in election needs to be preceded by a broad national debate and understanding and agreement on all the details involved. As a German court pointed out in 2005, in suspending its use, it must be possible for, ordinary, for the ordinary voter to understand all the processes surrounding its use without resort to experts. The maximum information about them ought to be made known in advance. INEC also ought to be concerned and investigate the issue of the disappearing voter because low turnout raises serious issues about the legitimacy of governments and the future of this democracy. We have not had a civil war in recent years, and allusions to a large number of dead people in the register just won't cut it, given the number and magnitude of the disappeared. <coughs> so there are two issues in this. First of all, what is called into question is the use of technology. Uh, we know, all of us from our private lives, that the use and maintenance of technology is an expensive thing. Um, it's an effective and efficient Before process. we go to that, it's an expensive thing. First of all, in order to prevent hacking, you have to update constantly. You have to, uh, in order to avoid glitches, you have to make sure you are constantly updating and all that and all that. But beyond the update, it is important that whatever system you are using, the average John on the streets should be familiar with it, should understand it. 
it's, it's important there should be agreements about it. It, it shouldn't be that uh, we get to election day and discover <coughs> something you said you would photocopy and transmit immediately to your server. Your server is not working. It, this, this doesn't cut it. Uh -huh. These are things we need to have agreed on before. We need to know it, and we need to stick by it. That's on one hand. Then the, there's the other issue, uh, other important issue. Since 1999, if you look at the statistics, mm -hmm. the number of people voting have been coming down. I mean, how can you have, say, 93 million registered voters, and your winner is someone that won with 90 million? That means the majority of people did not vote for him. It's a serious issue in democracy. Where are all the people going? Year by year, it's reducing. So we can't say it's because of this caste crunch. What is happening? It's something on a national scale and I next should be worried about. What is happening? Why are people seemingly vanishing? You get my point? Mm. So these are the two issues I think we can discuss. And um, beyond this place, I think there should also be a national debate about it. <laughs> if I might go, um, mm. the second issue, mm. which is, you know, reduction, it, it's not easy to attribute a particular cost to it. Um, we can say, yes, people are not so confident that their vote matters anymore. We could say that's, that's a point. We could say so many people have left the country. We could say people have died. But what I find interesting from what you just said is that INEC has not really looked into it. I, I, I noted it in passing when I was looking through some of the data, you know, that it's actually reducing, you know. Um, if INEC is really interested in carrying out all its full functions. You know, they should be able to find a way to gather information. And then let's check all the parameters because a lot of times, the actual reason is not what people think when data actually comes you know, to it. So what I'll be interested in is how one could get INEC to own up to that responsibility and spell out the steps they will take to address it, or at least to find out what the cause is. Because we can, we can finish this conversation right now, and then it's not until another four years when we are recording the figures that will now say, oh, it has reduced further. You know, so that, that would be what I want to look at. You know, what, what tools do we have to really push for, for um, a, an analysis of, of this this trade, this trend we are seeing? Well, I, I think first and foremost, the issue of low voter turnout. This time around, I won't speak of other elections. I want to speak about this election. Mm -hmm. uh, voter apathy is one, where the process is to even register your, there are a lot of people that try to register, but they could not, maybe due to That's frustration. That's an INEC issue. Uh, uh, INEC issue, large queues at the um, INEC registration center and some other mm -hmm. one or two things and the rest. So. Mm -hmm. Many of them that actually had the votes were either scared or worried or mm. about their security or they were just not just interested anymore. Voter mm. party, mm. tired of mm. the status quo, mm. where no much encouragement, no much sensitization election. Mm. And then the other aspect of it is, I'm going to talk about um, the use of technology. Yes, I want to applaud INEC chairman initially. I said, okay, bringing out beavers is a good idea because it's going to curb this process. But then we don't know whether beavers is not a blessing or a cause. <laughs> because you see what has happened. Everybody was uh, applauding, oh, well, this, that. But the, what I'm going to say to INEC um, chairman now is that if you can resolve this beavers issue, let's think bigger. I was expecting, at the day, the day of election, I was expecting that when I get there, I'm not going to turn print anymore. I will just click on, after they verified me, I will yeah, just click on something, yeah, punch yeah. a button and, see, that, and this is, so they should think about that. That's that the process you are problem. talking about. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah that's 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 The judge court, court was actually this. pointing out that if you want to use anything, average Joe should know Explain. It. It should but they can explain to them in local languages. Exactly. They should, will understand I, this I shouldn't need an expert. They can be, they can be, they can have like maybe your polling center, a certain polling center that has the necessary facility, well-powered and littered, 
have these machines. Mm -hmm. Go and stand there. When is your turn? Line up, go and stand mm -hmm. there. Punch a button. At the moment you punch that button, it's been transmitted and it's, yeah. it's registered in the database. Yeah. If you don't know, if you're not computer literate or you're not literate enough, yeah. INEC officials should be there to guide you and it should be properly guarded in, by security operatives to fact, avoid the law from interference. The important point that Yega. This uh, thumbprinting will not cut There it was away. an important point that Yega Africa pointed to. It pointed out that maybe. INEC, being that the technology was new, should have tried to do a mock, mock trial. national trial. Yeah, they didn't learn from the Oshu State you know, election. Yeah, yeah, they should have yeah. learned from that one. The yeah. Oshu State election, you saw what happened. Yeah. The argument between both sides, PDP and APC, yeah. over the yeah. result. Yeah. No, it's they in have the not court. learned from it. It's yeah. still in the court yeah. now. Yeah. So just imagine, look, okay, the same mm. process. Mm. It's not like a repeating. Yeah, exactly. Now, the presidential election, they are going to court. Yeah. How do we know the gubernatorial election, they will not still go to court? Yeah. Exactly. So they are stressing the judiciary. Yeah. Exactly. So why don't we learn from our mistake? And if possible, I don't know, it's my opinion. I, it's not a bad thing if they suspend all elections until this issue is resolved. Well, it's for us to learn, learn from it for the future. In future, when you are introducing something new, maybe you need to do a mock trial of it on a large scale. A dry run. Yes. Mm. All right. Thank you very much, gentlemen. Mm. The end always seems to come too soon on the advocates. However, the advocacy continues on our social media platforms, on Facebook, Plus TV Africa, Hashtag the advocate ng or on Twitter and Instagram at plus TV Africa. Hashtag the advocate ng to catch up with the previous broadcasts. Go to plus TV Africa.com forward slash the advocate ng. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel plus TV Africa. Till next week, same time on this station. Let's keep advocating for a better society. Bye.